Hello, Bill Knight with Right Angle. Today we'll be assembling the U.S. manufactured Presidente reception desk. Today we are assembling the Presidente line of desking systems that we have that are height adjustable. As you can see, uh, this is our three-legged L configuration, which is the Presidente reception desk. Now, it's very similar to our standard Presidente, um, but the standard Presidente does not have the reception counter, but is available in the L configuration. So we're going to kind of go th through the whole uh, assembly process of both the standard desk and the L configuration, and that works for the Presidente and the Presidente reception desk. Let's get started. This is what you're going to receive. It'll be a pallet full of the work surfaces, the columns, uh, and all the necessary parts needed for the assembly process. What we'll be doing is a step-by-step -step assembly process of the Presidente desk. So we'll go page by page and uh, we'll show you how this works. All right, so let's open up our boxes and see what we have here. Here you'll find the uh, motor cable and the work surface uh, attachment plates to bring the L portion of the table in with the standard part of the uh, Presidente. We'll again put those off to the side. One more motor cable. Don't need that anymore. Here we have a control box, switch, cable cover, more motor cables, grommets, some more motor extensions, power cord, your instructions will be in this box also. Modesty panel supports. All the screws you'll need and bumpers. These are all the attachment brackets to attach the columns to the panels. Well, two sets of those. And you have another box. Now in this box here, these are the aluminum, aluminum not everybody can say that, especially me, aluminum extrusions that we use for the, uh, the counter on top of the reception desk. And you're going to have two of these. So that'll hold up your reception counter. Another box, I don't need it. So, I'm going to put everything back in the box here. All right, now we're going to lift the work surfaces up on the, uh, the platform here so I don't have to be bending over or kneeling on the floor. Okay, we've now disassembled the pallet of work surfaces and I've put the uh, kick panel on and the front panel on our, work surf our, our working table. And uh, we have these little connectors here that are going to screw in the four holes at the top of the kick panel and also the front panel. So they both receive four. I stacked it so it could be a little easier. So you can see the inner kick panel is always black in color. Uh, and then you've got the work surface material that is exposed. Now when you put these in, be careful. The, uh, you want to make sure you don't strip out the Phillips drive. You just go till it's tight, just like that, and we'll do all four of these. So those are Rapex connectors, and uh, you'll see how they connect uh, with the uh, adjacent panel here shortly. All right, step two. We're going to be installing the other portion of the Rapex connectors, but now this is going to be in the side panels. So we have the Rapex connector uh, bracket that has to be attached, and then we also have the glides that will go on.
All right, now we're to step three. Step three does require a square drive on your drill, and you've got two brackets. They're not handed. So one will go on this side here, one on the other side here. You want to make sure that the bracket portion is facing inward. So if you look at the work surface, you're going to see the portion, no holes, and that is the side the uh, uh, kick panel will go on, and then you want to make sure that the column is going to be installed in the center section here. So that's why it goes like that. So four screws for each unit. Uh, you make sure you don't have your torque setting set too high on your power drill. You, you never want to strip these screws out. All right, and that would be uh, step three. And now we're going to move on to step four. All right, tighten up the apex connectors. I do the top and the bottom. And then I'll catch the inside units here. All right, step four is completed. All right, we're up to step five now. Step five is inserting the lifting columns into the desk. You want to make sure that these screws that are going to go in our T-slots are not too tight. Just makes it for, uh, makes for a lot easier assembly process. So I make sure they're just basically started. All right then, so now we're going to Install our columns, they are handed. So you're going to see the T-slot the here, and that'll slide into that insert. Just like that, we're going to set that one there, we'll set that one there, and then, so basically that's step five. Step six, we can just jump right into that. Requires the uh, square drive again on the drill. And then we're going to lift this column up to where the pre drilled holes are. Get one started there. All right, now we have all eight screws tight. All we have left now is to uh, tighten up the Allen screws. And again, this is a height adjustable table, so we want to make sure we get these tight to prevent any wobble that we might have. Those are all tight. Step six has been completed. Looks like we're on step, step seven. Um, this is the kick panel. This is going to go right on those Rafex connectors. We're going to need our Phillips screwdriver. Now with these, you put holes in the front to be able to turn the Rafex connectors. Now when you turn these, they're going to be counterclockwise because we are working it from the opposite side. The only thing else we have to do is there are some, let me try to locate them here, grommets that we'll be putting in. Step seven is done. All right, now we're on to step eight. 
These are the cross supports that we're going to put in. So you put them in, pull them up, turn in the Rafex connectors. These are kind of nice too because you can actually see how that Rafex connector works. Now we have two of those. All right, that's step eight. Well, we're up to step nine. Step nine is control box, work surface support, new channel, and the uh, switch itself. Now the switch you're gonna see has this little uh, warning sticker on it. We wanna leave this on so when the user actually uses the table, it's perp, they'll be able to just rip it off. We just wanna make sure they, they read this. With that switch, there are smaller screws that you use with it that come with it. And they also work with the square drive tip, which we are now back to. Um, also with the switch, or the control box itself, also uses this smaller screw. So we can put that on first. So when putting on the work surface support, I always do the outside four corners first. All right, we have all of them lined up now. Now, now we can just put the screws in. There we go. Okay. And the last thing is we do have some wire retaining clips. Okay, with step nine, there are some options. So if you are installing a modesty panel with your desk, uh, you will need to attach these brackets. And also, if you're doing a three-legged uh, Presidente, you'll need to attach the work surface attachment plates. So we'll do that now because this is gonna turn into a three-leg down the road. So we're just gonna uh, assemble it that way right now. So when I do these, you have a little play. So I'd always just push back, so that way you do it to all of them. And they should then line up perfectly. And since this will become an L, we're doing both instructions at the same time. I'll just put this in right away. Now if you wanted to, and if you had some help, you can put the modesty panel on now as long as you have some help to lift it up and put it onto the, the desking system itself. Now that it's up here, I can get to the screws pretty easily. All right, the modesty panel's installed. For step 10, we're now gonna run the uh, cables for the, the motors. And uh, depending if you have just the standard Presidente with two columns, uh, or the uh, three-legged president day that dictates how many cables you're going to need to run in which direction. So here we're doing the two-legged, but this, if this was a three-legged, the control box would look just like this, but would have a third outlet for uh, your plug to snap into. And then with that table, the third cable would, of course, come out to the side you put the uh, work surface brackets on for. And with that three-column system, uh, there's going to be an extension cable that comes with it so it can uh, stretch all the way to the to the motor. Got the snap in there. We have another one here. And then that cable will snap in. We're going to uh, plug the control box in and make the uh, columns come up so we can attach the work surface. So that in there temporarily plug this into here you see those little black lines there just to make sure you snap that in the right way that plugged in the back Got another one here all right got it plugged together we're gonna add a little power usually hear a click on the control box table's going to want to reset, so no matter what push button you push, 
it's going to go down and then come up a little bit. All right, so that should be high enough. We can unplug this and this and the power. Okay, with step 10, you're going to manage the wires again for, for each motor. Uh, when, you're, when you're done with that, you can tuck the cables in. If it's a three-legged table, you're going to have another port here to run your other cable, and you're going to run that out to the side that you have the work surface support brackets on for that other work surface. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get this ready and we're going to flip it over and set it on the columns that we have just raised. All right, line up your screws. So we have the desk mostly assembled. Uh, there's one thing, if this is a standard Presidente, um, with a modest D panel or without, we're basically finished. The last thing you have to do is you add the decorative cover. And when you look at this, you're going to see there are two thicknesses here, a thin side and a thick side. So the thick side is going to go to the actual front side because that panel is an inch and an eighth and the other panel is three quarters of an inch. So we set it in here, drop it in. Now, if you have any other cables you want to run into the desk, once this is wrapped up, you can slide it up to the top. And now what you want to do is you put that zip tie up there earlier. Get it started, zip tie is done. All right, we have several grommets. There is one also that we want to put into the metal plate that kind of keeps the noise down. And then you can manage your cable through there. I pull the cover up, reach down, pull it out the bottom where there is also a grommet that is supplied for that portion of the cabinet. Put the cord through the grommet. All right, step 13. We're to the point now where we're adding the reception counter. So you're going to have uh, some aluminum parts here. We have these two here. We have the uh, basically the front of the uh, counter itself, uh, and then we have the work surface. We've got these T-slots. They're going to slide. Oh, well, I can show you on the side here. They slide in like that. So we put those in. I now have to attach this panel into these screw holes. You could start the screws inside the T-slot on the panel too if you'd like. Get that started on the side. Slide this one in. Once you have it level on the work surface, you can just make sure the screws are in so they won't fall out. This is where it gets a little more tricky. These screws have to be installed from the bottom side of the work surface. Uh, we're going to focus on this one side and uh, we'll see if we can get this set up. So here we have the reception counter itself. We're going to set this on top here. All right, those screws will come up through the bottom. And it is a little tricky here, so you got to tip on the screw here. And then line it up with the metal insert. Do the same thing with this other screw. And then line it up 
also with the other metal insert. Don't want to make them too tight because you got to do this to the other side. With the table in the up position, it makes it much nicer to do. All right, we have those all started. Now what we want to do is we want to tighten the Allen screws that we have on the back side here. So have our Allen wrench here. You saw me putting those into four. Once we have this done, we can put the uh, decorative color covers on. Okay, now we have those tight and we can install the, uh, the decorative covers. All right, now you can see the back. These are the screws I was tightening before. And here are the covers. And the covers just snap right on. Slide those little holes in the top and the bottom. Now, if you notice, I didn't tighten the whole unit down yet with those screws underneath. I was waiting until we had the cover on. We can now tighten these screws up. All right. All right, that's done. It's installed. Put these grommets in. And then after that's done, you're going to have to reset the table because you probably have had it unplugged. So it'll go into uh, reset mode. All right, the reset's complete. After that's finished, you can now uh, manage your wires, wrap the nylon cord wrap around the cable. Presidente reception desk is now finished. Well, remember when we talked about the uh, three column table, L workstation, Presidente? So we're to that stage now. So we're actually gonna do it as a three legged table. So when we first started out, we had to bring that table all the way up to put the work surface on. And I believe that was step uh, 10 or 11. And um, when that's done, when you're doing a three legged table, you're gonna have to attach the third leg and just set it on the table and then run it up and let the table leg extend. That way when you uh, want to function with the table, uh, it, the only way it'll work if all three columns are attached. So we have the table in the upright position now. Um, uh, that would be when you would be assembling the work surface to the columns. But since we've already done that, now we can lower it back down. We have it all hooked up. We can go back down to the low position and then we can attach the work surface to that leg. So we have the brackets already attached. You can attach it on the left or right hand side. Um, it just depends what your preference is. It will be pre-drilled for both. Now you can also take off the protective covering on the leg at this time. It's a little easier to do it now than when it's upside down. Now we have it already plugged in because remember we needed this plugged into the control box for the control box to work properly. So uh, all we need to do now is lift it up and put it into place. Using a second person for this probably isn't a bad idea. So we can set this up. Get it lined up and then we'll go underneath and we'll fasten it with our screws for the work surface. Okay, now we're putting the screws uh, for the work surface to attach to the main desk in. Get them all started. Don't tighten them up till you get all four of them in. You'll do that with this bracket and the bracket over here. When installing your U-channel, Make sure you put the cable for the motor inside before you screw it to the work surface. It just makes it go a lot faster. Get one screw started here. Then we can line it up and we'll install the rest of the screws. And until you get at least four screws in, I wouldn't tighten them up. All right, now we can tighten up our screws and finish the installation. All right, that completes our installation. Thanks for watching.